This is the weirdest video we're making on any of the play-in series for the 2020 NHL playoffs. And no, it's not a series with my favorite Vancouver Canucks team against the Minnesota Wild, or my second favorite Canadiens team against the Penguins. This is the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Columbus Blue Jackets series. Now, this isn't the most interesting one because of the matchup itself. We're not talking about the strengths and the weaknesses and the offense and the defense and the actual statistics of the teams. What we're talking about here is a different angle that we haven't explored with any of the other play-in series thus far, but one that is very prevalent in this Maple Leafs Blue Jacket series here. That angle boils down to respect and skill. Because I wanted to introduce this topic with what Brian Burke said on, I assume, the radio earlier this month. This is from NHL Watcher on Twitter. He's a guy who transcribes what people say on podcasts, radio hits, etc., and he puts them into tweets for those who don't actually end up listening to it. It's very good for me because I'm able to screenshot this and put it in my video to support the arguments I'm talking about. But Brian Burke calls the Leafs and Jackets series a series of will versus skill. Burke says the Leafs need to match the Blue Jacket's intensity and pay attention to detail. He expects the Blue Jacket's strong forecheck to expose the fact that Toronto's decor isn't really that good. Now, this is only the introductory tweet to the argument, but essentially it's will versus skill. You have a Columbus Blue Jackets team whom I've noted throughout the past few videos highlighting different playoff teams, absolutely got here just via pure desire, drive, and determination. This team was not supposed to be here. The Columbus Blue Jackets were supposed to suck. They lost out on all of their really good talent a season ago in Artemi Panarin, Ryan Dezingle, Sergei Bobrovsky, Matt Duchesne, all the guys that allowed them to do well in the first round last season and eliminate Probably one of the best NHL teams we have ever seen in the 2019 Tampa Bay Lightning. They swept that team. And the drive, fire, determination that this team showed in that series was carried by a lot of the players they had up front. But they lost those star players. And still, even though they lost them, they had performances from guys like Dubois, Zach Wierenski, Seth Jones, Corpus Salo, and Merzlikens, who came back and forced this team into a play-in series. John Tortorella is up for the coach of the year and there's no reason to understand why he wouldn't be. This team got here via pure determination, and now the first round in the play-ins against the Maple Leafs is their next test of will. But they're going up against a Maple Leafs team that has a lot of skill. Franchise talents like Tavares, Marner, and Matthews, really skilled guys who can pass the puck like crazy like William Nylander, star D-men who can put up points like Morgan Riley. Not to mention all the depth they have in younger guys like Andreas Janssen, Kasperi Kapanen, and even the older guys like Jason Spezza. Not to mention the addition of Nick Robertson to this team, which has been probably one of the biggest stories in Toronto, is something that many Leafs fans are kind of expecting because the guy's been showing super well at camp, he's been a top OHL goal scorer for the past season, and he's a guy who adds so much more skill to the lineup than when he is out of the lineup. It's Will versus Skill over here, and sure, it has the catchy headline, but at the same time, will the Maple Leafs' skill and their overall offensive ability triumph the heart of the Columbus Blue Jackets? On to what Burke says about Robertson. He says they would be nuts to put Nick Robertson in the play-in round. Burke says that what Nick Robertson brings in the lineup is small, soft skill. According to Brian Burke, the Leafs have enough of that. That is not what they need to get past the Blue Jackets. And to many people who looked at this tweet, I see the replies over here. If I just scroll down, there's a lot of Brian Burke slander right here talking about why he's wrong. But at the same time, the perspective does somewhat make sense. 
I don't want to say that he's entirely correct, that, oh, the Leafs would be better without Robertson than with him. I would like to see Robertson in the playing series, and I think he's a great player. But the argument does have a few ideas to support it. The fact is, the Leafs already know how to score, and if you add another guy who knows how to score, what you get at the end is a team that just knows how to score. Now, I know you win hockey games by scoring more goals, but at the same time, sometimes playoff games are won not just by who scores as many goals, but as who is able to control the game in other ways. And you can't tell me I'm wrong with that. There are so many playoff games and series where the better team who can score more goals just doesn't end up winning because they can't score as many goals via other ways. So... Brian Burke's argument, while maybe not the most agreed with, certainly has a sentiment of truth behind it that I can willingly accept. Furthermore, Nick Robertson apparently is probably going to make this team. He remains a part of the Leafs' third line with Pierre Engvall as an extra. This was from a few days ago, and the sentiment from Leafs' training camp is that Robertson has been one of the best players out there consistently. But... We have ourselves another perspective that I wanted to talk about here. This is Elliot Friedman and what he said on the 31 Thoughts podcast. Let's see the tweet. I don't know if Columbus respects Toronto. I think they respect their skill, but I don't know if they respect their will. And it goes back to the will versus skill series, because will is something that the Toronto Maple Leafs haven't been the most consistent with, if I want to put it lightly. Sure, skill, they've got a lot of that. Matthews, Marner, Tavares, Nylander, Andreas Janssen, Kasperi Kapanen, so many skilled guys on that team. Tyson Berry is an offensive powerhouse. So is Morgan Riley, a two-way specialist. There's so much skill to this team. But when you have a Toronto team that going up against their own Zamboni driver who's an emergency backup goalie for the other team, and you're only able to muster up as many shots as they did. You're only able to control the puck as much as you did. You're only able to score as many goals as you did. Oh, wait, never mind. People start questioning your will. And there have been few and far between many Leafs games this season where you watch them and you say, darn, is this really a team that's got Matthews, Marner, and Nylander? They're not holding on to the puck. They're not making smart decisions. They're not hustling. It doesn't look like they're there. The will of this team is questionable. And when you go up against a Columbus team that's got all the will in the world to dispose in a play-in series that they worked so hard to get here for... The will versus skill argument becomes super, super interesting. And ultimately, you have to ask yourself, is the Toronto Maple Leafs shooting ability, passing ability, goal scoring ability enough to supersede a Blue Jackets team that we all know has the ability to outwork this Leafs team in virtually every single game if they go to five games? It will rely on guys like Frederick Anderson to keep this team in it. It will rely on the hearts of Pierre-Luc Dubois, Gustav Nyquist, and Zach Wierenski to expose that poor Toronto defense. And ultimately, it will rely on John Tortorella, who earlier this week already restarted his training camp and the practice because he didn't like what he was seeing. Like it or not, this matchup is a really, really good matchup of ideals and perspective because one of these teams works really hard for everything they've gotten and another one of these teams is just so skilled to the moon. However, the antithesis certainly is there. It's Character Foils 101 over here and I can't wait to see this play-in series in action. Because of this, I'm honestly expecting a five-game series. I would not be surprised if this goes the distance, and I wouldn't be surprised if any of the other teams win. Because again, the skill of the Leafs could definitely take them over, but the heart of the Blue Jackets is just so strong that I wouldn't be surprised if they would win. They did it last year against the Lightning. So talk to me in the comments below about this whole will versus skill thing. And furthermore, talk to me what you think about Brian Burke and what he said about Robertson. Because I know Nick Robertson is probably the most beloved person in the Maple Leafs organization right now because of his underdog story, because of his late draft story, because of how good he is. But to Brian Burke, Nick Robertson is just another skilled guy. And they already have a lot of skilled guys. So is this the kind of player that could push them over the edge to winning a series against Columbus? Or is it not enough? 
Furthermore, who do you think is going to win this series? Let me know in the comments section below because I love to read the comments, especially when it comes to these play-in series. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.